take a look at 4.4 Adventure Story. Um, it is a more complicated project than some of the ones we've done before, but you've learned quite a bit of programming, so this puts everything you know together in a new way. I'm going to show you what the project looks like. I'll open it up here inside of Scratch. I'll make it big. It's an adventure story. It kind of takes you through a couple of scenes. So when I click this, Kung Fu Music and a Grasshopper, and he says, hello. And he says, I'm glad you've decided to join me for an adventure. When you are ready to begin, click the space bar. So it's waiting for user input. And I have to click this space bar to make it go. I'm going to click the space bar now. It opens it up. He's on the roof. Welcome to the Shaolin Temple. To train here, you must choose a master. They introduce themselves. I am Wing Chao Li, an authentic Shaolin monk. And I am Po, the Kung Fu Panda, the original dragon warrior. Click one of us to choose the new master. So I have to click one of these two sprites. You'll notice that the grasshopper disappears as well. So I'm going to click the Kung Fu Panda for fun. You can click either one. They both work. And when I do, he says, welcome to the Jade Palace. And then he says, together we will have legendary adventures. And that switches to a third scene. Oh my, this is too much like work. Everybody was And this is set on an infinity on an infinity loop. So as you know, these guys will just keep you know flying around for as long as you play. It's actually on a on a loop. So how did I make this happen? Let's take a look. It's a lot of programming. It's taking a couple of days to get this done. Um, but I have the grasshopper, and he starts on the green flag, right? On the green flag, because there's a green flag scene. There's a bunch of this stuff going on. And then when the space key is pressed, it switches to backdrop. All right. And when the backdrop switches to uh, beach Rio. Uh, the grasshopper shows up and this is too much like work. You'll notice, by the way, when the space key is pressed, it switches the backdrop. All these things change. I just switch backdrop when the space key is pressed. I use backdrop switches to beach Rio. That's how the grasshopper is changed, is programmed. The shell and monk. How is the shell and monk programmed? When the space, when the green flag is clicked, the shell and monk hides. When the space key is pressed, he waits four seconds because that's how long it takes for the you know, grasshopper to make his introduction. And then he says, I am Wing Chao Li, the authentic Shaolin monk. And he just waits. Um, and then uh, the other thing he waits for is if he's clicked, he switches back around to the Shaolin Temple training hall. And he says some things. Uh, the Kung Fu Panda, when the green flag is clicked, he hides. When the space key is pressed, he waits eight seconds while all that other dialogue goes on. Remember like the knock-knock joke? And then he shows, he says, I am Po, I'm the Kung Fu Panda, the original dragon warrior. Um, and choose one of us, and I'll just take that off right now, stop it. And, and he's got this on that backdrop. Then on this, I actually did not, um, well, I'll take this off because I don't need to do that. Uh, over here, when the backdrop gets to the beach, Rio, it waits three seconds, and then it plays the Kung Fu fighting sound, where I included that MP3 sound right here, um, and it actually plays. Everybody was so I added that MP3 file. This was not a small amount of programming. This took some planning. How did I do it? Well, first thing it says is you have to create a storyboard. I planned out a storyboard by going to uh, Google Slides, and I created a storyboard. This isn't the, the whole story. It kind of is an ish. It's a, it shows me what it looks like. Hello, I'm glad you decided to join me for an adventure. When you're ready to click the space bar, welcome to the Shaolin Temple. Here's the dialogue. And then you have chosen well. And then welcome to the Jade Palace. And then this kind of shows characters flying about and the two characters. This isn't exactly the sprites I used. These are just some sprites I used to make the slideshow. And I kind of kept that, you know, these pictures kind of going through my slideshow. This is my idea. I built this first, kind of showed me how I'm going to do it. And then I went over to Scratch and I built it all in Scratch. That's how the adventure story works. Um, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to me if you need one-on-one -on -one help. Let's make sure we meet one-on-one. -on -one. I hope that helps. Good luck.